to this session. Today our topic for discussion is determination of absorption rate by method of residual. So uh, we are going to go in inside the topic for discussion. Myself, Kandekar Hassan Reza will help you to understand how to use the following technique for determination of absorption rate constant. Specifically, if you want to define the absorption rate, it is the rate at which the drug gets absorbed from the site of administration or loading into the systemic circulation. So this is uh, specifically defined with the concept that the drug is getting absorbed extravascularly specifically through the oral route. It follows a rate kinetics. It is defined to be following the absorption rate kinetics can be of first order specifically under a sink condition for a passive diffusion. It may also be a zero order if the formulation is following a controlled release or sustained release of the drug. Sometimes it can also result in mixed order kinetics that is initially a first order followed by a zero order saturated kinetic process which may be due to the absorption taking place by active transport system. There are various methods uh, which is not a part of our discussion but I'm just mentioning there are various methods for the dis uh, determination of absorption rate constant or Ka. Firstly we have our method of residual Wagner-Nelson method, lou regelman method, deconvolution method and determination of Ka or absorption rate from urinary excretion data. As far as today's discussion is concerned, we will be discussing on the method of residual. As an overview, I just like to mention that the concept of method of residual was first conceived by Panos Maturus or P. Maturus who is also the founder director of lab of biopharmaceutics and pharmacokinetics at the University of Athens and presently he is an emeritus professor at the same university. He in the year 1987 first proposed in his work called as method of residual estimation of absorption and elimination rate constant having comparable value which was published in the journal known as biopharmaceutics and drug disposition. Later on Craig Mill et al proposed the name of feathering and peeling of back projection to the method of residual. It was in his book called Handbook of Comparative Pharmacokinetics and Residues of Veterinary Therapeutic Drugs where the author explained that the feathering peeling or back projection is first employed whereby the curve is stripped from the latest time point to the earliest in order to determine the terminal phase. So this is how we are doing or studying the method of residual which I will discuss in further slides. It is also considered that the graphic it is a graphical method. So if you go for Wagner-Nelson method or rather a Lou Riegelman method, those are non-graphical method but this is exclusively a graphical method where the calculations are being done considering the real time concentration values of the drug. This is applicable both for one or multi compartment studies but there is a pre-assumption that the absorption and the elimination must follow a first order kinetics. Also it is assumed that the absorption rate is much higher 
than the elimination rate specifically as per p matures it, it, it explained the kke ratio should be less than equal to 3 in some places it has been also said that the absorption rate should be at least five times to that of elimination rate here specifically the three things has to be remembered firstly which has to be considered is the applicable it is applicable to one or multi compartment secondly it is pre assume the first order absorption and elimination and thirdly is that the k k ratio should be greater than or equal to 3 these are the three considerations which you have to remember for further understanding the method of residual let us go for basic consideration you can see the graph over here it is a concentration time curve for extravascular route of administration so uh, if you say ct that is the total uh, concentration graph equation is represented by k f x naught by v d into k minus k e e to the power minus k e t minus of e to the power minus k t if we consider that absorption rate is very fast such that it is almost tends to zero the e to the power of that particular value almost tends to zero so this new this equation can also be represented by another equation called as k x naught by v d into k minus k e e to the power minus k e t so we are considering that only the elimination part is more prominent than the absorption part so we get two equations one is ct or the c total concentration equation for the total extravascular administration and this is the equation for only the elimination phase so the second equation explains it can be in the log value if we take it in the log value so we get a straight line like this so this is assumed from the ce equation now let us consider how we calculate the residual concentration the residual concentration can be calculated it's very easy we actually subtract the total equation from the elimination phase concentration so how so just putting the value previously we know what is the value of ce and what is the value of ct put the values both the values so automatically it is very clear that your uh, e to the power kfx naught by vd into k into k minus ke e to the power minus ke t will be getting cancelled and the final equation will be something like kfx naught by vd into k minus k e to the power minus k t so this is going to be your residual equation actually we are going to determine this equation graphically and try to determine the slope from where we can determine the absorption rate constant so how we are going to do it i will show you practically how the ca total uh, the calculation is done graphically so this is uh, log c so if you take in the log form so you get same equation but instead of minus k e to the power minus k t the part that part will become k t by 2.303 and this uh, kfx naught by vd into k minus ke will become log of the total value so anyhow this is just a representation in the log scale or in the normal scale so same thing we are going to see how it is done graphically so you know uh, in the graphically if you want to do it there are two things we can do it firstly we can take the concentration values in the log scale so I'm not mentioning over here actually you can take the values in the log scale at the time normally what is there we can carry on with that 
sometimes we may not go to take the value in the log scale you can put it in the same concentration and use a semi log graph paper so if you use a semi log graph paper you need not to go for a log scale you take the normal whatever the concentration values are there and plot in the semi log paper hope so you know how to use it so if you use that you can do the same calculation but there will be some di difference in doing the procedure so in both the cases you'll be getting a uh, uh, extravascular curve something like this that is in the log scale also or in the extravascular scale also uh, in the semi log scale also next thing you are going to do is you need to extrapolate the elimination phase part straight to the y axis so you need to extrapolate by using a scale take the terminal part and extrapolate it to the y axis generally in the extravascular administration calculations you know that when we are determining the uh, elimination rate constant we generally take the el terminal points not the upper points because in the upper points you will be having something called as post absorption phase values in which you have still some values of ka which is mixed so better you go down the better you get a clear value of elimination without absorption rate the same way when you are drawing a line put the scale such that it touches the bottom point bottom points and try to draw it upon the y axis so something you get like this so you are getting a straight line the next thing you are going to do over here you know this is the total equation and the, this is the total curve and this is the elimination curve so you need corresponding points for the total curve as well as for the elimination curve okay so what we are going to do we can arbitrarily select four points or five points here we are selecting four points on the absorption part a uh, little bit at the terminal ends so i'm selecting four points let it be as this let it be a b c and d points so these are the four points i've selected and what we are going to do we are going to put one scale and we have to plot the same points on or we have to uh, take the corresponding points on the elimination curve so whatever the point i am getting over here at the same time what is the value we are getting on the y axis uh, suppose on the elimination line that is cutting the y axis something like this so this is the point so this is your d value and this is your d dash value so both the points if you just join it is coming under the same time so we are considering the same corresponding points on the elimina elimination phase equation and the total equation so like this we are getting the other three points something like this as you know in the case of uh, calculation of residual concentration we have subtracted the value of the elimination concentration from the total concentration so these are the four points corresponding points for elimination concentration and these are the points that is corresponding to the total concentration value so after you subtract suppose it should be if this is a and this is a dash this is b and this is b dash this is c and this is c dash this is d and this is d dash so you have to do the same thing a dash minus a b dash minus b c dash minus c and d dash minus d so if you do a dash minus a you get a point likewise b dash minus b you get another point c dash minus c you get another point and d dash minus d you get another point so you get the four points you do one thing from the point of intercept join it with a straight line 
so you got the residual line this is called as the residual line or the feathering line now what you have to do is you have to get the slope value to determine the slope value and the intercept values so like this from this equation we can determine the value of the k a that is for the slope putting the value of the k over there we can get the value of k uh, we can get the value of v d given that you know the value of the other rate constant k e which you can also determine from the same equation and uh, you can determine the other rate cons uh, the other uh, pharmacokinetic parameters uh, from the equation so let me say one thing then you have to make an assumption over here see uh, i told you there are two ways you can do it what is taking the log scale the y axis or you can use a semi log paper for that if you are using a semi log paper your intercept will be kfx not by vd into k minus k directly there is no change will be there and your slope will be you can take any concentration values let it be c2 c1 corresponding to the time t2 and t1 so you have to take the ln c2 minus ln c1 divided by t2 minus t1 if you do this you get some value that equals to your absorption rate constant this is happening when you are using a semi log paper but when you are going for taking the log scale slight difference you have to go for anti log value of kfx not by vd into k minus k since you have taking the log c value so obviously you have to take the anti log and what you get uh, is uh, the value of the intercept so here what you can put if you know uh, from here what you can have it uh, like previously you should know the value of k from the slope and you can put the value of k over here k e over here uh, fx not will be known to you and what you can do actually you can determine the value of volume distribution and as i told you the slope when you are determining in a log scale it will be k by 2.303 so uh, ka will become 2.303 into slope so by this way you determine the value of ka so hope so you probably understood how to do the calculations uh, by using the method of residual hope so you understood the topic so these are some of my references which i have used to prepare the slide for this presentation and thank you